Transportation has a long history which dates back to 1500 BC when the wheels were invented. Invention of wheels has been a revolution in the history of transportation. Wheels play a major role in transportation for which there has not been a replacement. We will bring a video on wheels in the future. In this video we'll briefly discuss about the invention of engines, that is used in the present day automobiles. Hello everyone. Welcome to Motor Max. We do videos about automobiles, its features, its capabilities, technologies used in it and many more. If you are an automobile fan and have not subscribed to our channel, then click the subscribe button and enable notifications to be tuned with our latest videos. Also share the channel with your friends and family members for them to benefit. In the year 1672, first steam-powered vehicle was invented, by a Chinese mathematician and an astronomer Ferdinand Verbiest. He was a Flemish member of a Jesuit mission in China. That was only a 65 cm long scale model made to demonstrate to the Chinese emperor. It did not have the capacity to carry a driver or a passenger. Nicolas Joseph Cugnot a French inventor created a steam-powered tricycle in 1769. That was the first full-scale self-propelled mechanical vehicle. That vehicle was not a long-term success due to problems with the water supply and maintaining the steam pressure. A steam-powered road locomotive was built and demonstrated by Richard Trevithick in 1801 and was named Puffing Devil. Richard is a British inventor and a mining engineer. That was the first ever demonstration of a steam-powered road vehicle. Due to the issues in maintaining sufficient steam pressure for longer period, it had only a little practical use. A point to be noted is, that the development of an external engine is detailed as part of the history of the car, but often treated separately from the development of true cars. World first internal combustion engine named Pyreolifor was created by a French inventor Nicephorn Yeps and his brother, during the year 1807. That engine was first installed on a boat instead. It was fueled by mixture of lycopodium powder, finely crushed coal dust and resin that were mixed with oil. Meanwhile the Swiss inventor François Isaac de Rivas designed his own de Rivas internal combustion engine. This engine was used to develop the world's first vehicle to be powered by such engine. De Rivas internal combustion engine was fueled with a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. There were several engineers who worked in developing vehicles powered by internal combustion engine. Some of the notable names among them were, Samuel Brown, an English engineer and an inventor. Samuel Morey, an American inventor. Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenore, a Belgian engineer. But unfortunately, none of those vehicles powered by internal combustion engines were successful. The first working three-wheeled car powered with electricity was demonstrated by a French inventor Gustave Trouvet in the year 1881. Several other German engineers, like Gottlieb Daimler, Wilhelm Maybach, and Siegfried Marcus were working on the problem at about the same time. Carl Benz, a German engine designer and an automotive engineer, known as the inventor of modern car. Carl Benz designed his first engine in 1878 for which he was granted patent in 1879. He built the first motor wagon in 1885 and awarded the patent in 1886, under the auspices of his company Benz & C. That was founded in 1883. In August 1888, Bertha Benz the wife of Carl Benz, undertook the first ever road trip by car to prove the roadworthiness of her husband's invention. Which made Carl Benz's invention a commercial success. As a result, Benz sold 25 cars between 1888 and 1893. Carl Benz's successful invention was the beginning for the automobile industry. That paved the way for industrialization of automobile manufacturing. 
We will bring a video on industrialization of automobiles in the future. Hope you enjoyed the video. So, like this video, share the video and mention your opinion about the video in the comments. Thank you.